So look at this. The owner of this business, of this building, is coming up the ladder. Check him out. Somebody's gonna check on <laughs> John, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing? That's 480 volts there. No what? That's 480 volts. Oh. That's the most common that's the most common accident for a roofer. Right? No. Any electric lines with the aluminum ladders. Yeah, with aluminum ladders. But this is Very covered. Common. Yeah, how you doing? Good. So what we got you, what you doing? We can get that out of here. <laughs> I'm in Irwin, Pennsylvania, and this is John Irwin. And John Momar Irwin. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Noss. Very good roofer. Okay. So uh, we're fixing his roof here. And um, so I want to show you what we're going to use. We're going to use this uh, product that makes it so easy to fix a roof. But I, don't wanna, I didn't want John to know how easy it is <laughs> because now I cannot charge. But yes, he can. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, he will, because we want to keep him around here. <laughs> so this is the secret. You don't want to tell the owner how simple it is to fix this leak. And I'm going to fix a leak, but I, I want him to get off the roof, because otherwise, I'm going to charge for this. Anyway, so I'm going to show you. <laughs> I think, I think we, <laughs> anyway it is so easy I brought my daughter with me so she can do it so let me show you what the problem is and then we show you how to fix it give me a towel this way. so here's the problem the the membrane comes up the roof and they brought it over to the parapet wall now this parapet wall is fine and then they stuck the membrane to the parapet wall but the problem is, it doesn't stick. Look at all the water there. Look how wet it is. This is cement, and this is a rubber membrane, and it didn't stick, it's coming apart. So there's a metal edging there. There's no metal edging, it's just concrete. You see concrete, concrete, and there's rubber there. So you may have a parapet wall with concrete like this, and it's it's coming apart then water is just uh, when it rains it comes in like this there's another place where it also comes a problem let me show you see they got a metal cap here your metal cap over the parapet wall they brought the membrane up here but the membrane is separating from the wall here you see that so we're gonna have to fix this where they attached it to the metal and we we're gonna make a different attachment so this will work so it won't come apart again. Let me show you how it's done. Come on, Vida, paint it. So I'm going to use, um, we use this as our go-to product, Turbo Poly Seal. Okay, so you're going to paint, um, I want to paint, I want to paint this edge. I'm going to fold it over the edge here. So here's what we're going to do. Let me show you. We're going to paint like this, this white, Okay, we're going to paint it this white on the edge, on the top, okay, and then I'm going to do the side like this, this white, about two inches on the other side. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put my fleece over that, let me see, okay. You gotta paint fast because I wanna put this on, okay? So, sweetheart, you're not gonna get paid if you stalk with the owner and flirt with the owner. <laughs> you you gotta come and work. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're okay? I'm okay. I, I just go and see if there's any more surprises or anything. Oh, a lot of surprises. I got everything. two girls with me. That was a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to paint much fa faster than that. So, let me show you, let me show you, Vida, you're doing too slow. So, <clears throat> all you do is put it there, go like this, and you go. And you cut it this in half or just? Okay. In this, yeah, cut it in half. Okay. Go like this, like this, 
this is the easiest, nicest way to fix the edge, transition, flashing. Do this. Can you do that, Vida? Yep. Oh, yeah. Let me hold this here. Okay. Oh, you went hot. You All right, here we go. Okay, good. So now we're putting a fleece. Like this. Nice. And that's it. You make a transition to the wall. Push, pull, pull a little bit. And then... Do the other one. All right. And then... I come here and I do the rest. I do another another coat over this, watch. That's how simple this is. This is my secret product, which I didn't want people to know for years. Now it's out of the bag. Metal cap. I'm painting the metal cap like that. See like that. And I'm painting the bottom of the metal, uh, the rubber, where the rubber comes up. And this is a transition on a parapet wall. There you go. Comes to the bottom there, see? Like that. Look how easy that is. You don't have to tear things apart. Look at that. What, took us half an hour at the most? This whole parapet wall, about 35 feet, 35 feet. I sealed the edge all the way like this and all the way here because the membrane was coming loose from the edge. And I used this and you can see this, uh, I used two thirds, maybe I have, oh, just over half a, a gallon for this entire wall. That means 80 bucks uh, plus the fleece, maybe 100 bucks. That's what it cost me, just to, to, to do a, a repair that will last. It's not a repair with tar. Tar is not gonna last. That's what I did before. And I did it with silver coating. So I'm just giving you an idea. It's very, very inexpensive to fix, but it's an expensive product. It's not a cheap product. So explain what's the problem. Hey. The problem is, water is coming through this concrete block. Hi, my name is Vita. Um, I want to show you how easy it is to fix this uh, crack that's here, right by this mint. And I'm just going to clean it off first because the water is going in there. And so we want to make sure we clean off all this tape. turbo poly seal to fill in these cracks and it's a lot better than caulking because caulking will um, soak into the cracks um, like the poly seal does so we're going to go get that and I'll show you how to do it real quick. Turn, turn so I can see it later. That's it. Go up one step. Well, do a thin, thin line, okay? Just on the cracks. That's it. It's easy as that. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. <laughs> and that's how you fix cracks on concrete um, brick walls. It soaks in. I'm telling you, it soaks in. 
right in the crack, right there. So wherever you see a crack, if you, if you get it clean, you just put a little, like that, it soaks into that, into that crack and onto the cement. And that's it. Easy way to fix uh, leaks on concrete. Now you can paint this when after a, a day or so, you can come back and you can paint the wall if you want to paint it. I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Cracks on concrete block. All right, let's get out of here.